Well, I must say, Carl, you didn't need much help at all, but uh -oh. now they're all going away. We fade to black, and it's just you and me in the hot seat. <laughs> and $64,000, but you still have three lifelines. Here it is. Lawrence of Arabia was an officer in what army? Turkish, German, British, United States. I would say... I know it's not... Nice. You saw the movie, right? Lawrence of Arabia? C. You see? C? British? Final? C. I guess you mean yes. Yes. <laughs> and you're right for $64,000. Good. I know you're all alone. Well, here it is for $125,000. In the 1989 movie, Field of Dreams, what baseball player is the first to appear in the cornfield? Chick Gandell, Lefty Williams, Ty Cobb, Shoeless Joe Jackson. I remember... I know it is. I remember D. Um, can we? Let me see. I need to. That's how I remember D. Remember Shoeless Joe Jackson, huh? Let's ask the audience. All right, audience, we need some help for Carl. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 87% think it's Shoeless Joe. I'll go with D. Final answer. It's final. They're right, you're right, for 125 times to go. We're gonna go back. Carl Lewis is gonna go for a quarter million. One of the greatest yeah. stars ever in our hot seat right now and has won $125,000 and going for a quarter million dollars. And incidentally, your companion today is Jeffrey Marks. Nice to have you, Jeffrey. Great to be here. He's written two biographies on you. Mm -hmm. And are you the brother of the sister whose uh, charity this is named for? I am. Carl's involvement with the Wendy Marks Foundation started with my sister, Wendy, who her life was saved by a liver transplant in 1989. Oh. And she was in a coma for a while, and Carl was with us the whole time in the hospital, so it's really quite a story that he's been involved with. Wow, so you've been friends for a long time then, yeah, huh? Right. Tell us one thing about Carl Lewis we don't know. Well, everyone thinks of him as this great athlete, but I really think of him <laughs> first as the people, the person who was in that hospital with us, sleeping on the floor in the hospital room, making commitment to organ donation right then, and he's been more involved in this issue nationally and internationally than anyone else in the world the last 12 years. So. That's terrific, Carl. Huh? Good for you. <laughs> That's good, Jeffrey. Nice story. And Carl has a, a new uh, made-for-TV movie coming out in the spring called Atomic Twister. Yeah. And what, who do you play? I play a, a security guard. Yeah. And, um, you know, the first, like, part I get, I get taken out by the Twister and was crazy. I couldn't outrun it. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, right. They would, they, yeah, it's like, like they really thought of this when they wrote it. But, uh, yeah. I, so it doesn't matter how fast you are, you can't outrun You can't outrun it, even if you did win nine gold medals in the Olympics, huh? That twist you didn't care. No. That's a cute twist on a story. All right, you won 125. Now, should you miss here, you're going to lose 93,000. But here we go. We're three away from a million car. We're playing for 250,000. Let's play. Carl, on the Domino's Pizza logo, the three dots on the domino tile represent what? Three original toppings, three original stores, three founders, Rome, Sicily, and Naples. Those three dots. Wow. Um, uh, Um, gosh, it could be anything. <laughs> How 
How about if I um, use a 50 50? Want to narrow it down yeah. by two? Sure, yeah. let's do that. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers, please. Well, it's either three original stores or three founders. Domino's Pizza. Anybody on your phone, friend, list might possibly know this. I, I would say if they started, I would think they'd start with three stores. It would make more sense to start with three founders. I mean, you don't start with three stores. Mm -hmm. so I would say... I would say C. All right. Just again, you know, you lose 93,000 if you're wrong. What do you want to do? C. You want to say C? Three found. I want to make it your final answer. That's the final answer. No, believe it or not, it's three original scores. Uh, uh, Thirty-two thousand, Carl. Okay. Come on. Great. That's good. So Thank good you. to have you. Buddy. Okay. Good luck. Sweet guy. Tough question. But $32,000 is still a lot of money for the Wendy Marks Foundation.